Hello, everyone, and welcome to part one of what I expect to be a very epic, epic SOTUS replay featuring the new hero, Jim Rayner. I've been asking a lot of the in-house guys to give me some information and give me some replays so I can show you guys um, Rayner in action. And it looks like, yes, Rayner is going to be played by Ace on the south side or on the Protoss side of the map. You can see down over here, there is Rayner, um, along with King David, Narzak, Thunderstick, and I believe, not quite sure who the next hero is going to be. I'm coming in. Meanwhile, on the Protoss side, it will be Death and Taxes playing Rainer on the north side. You also have Kerrigan, Grunty, a Drake, and we'll see what the fifth and final hero will be on both sides. It looks like it, there will be a Jackson and J Jackson Drake lane. Meanwhile, is this coming over here? No, Grunty now quickly firing off a shot of a rocket. Will it hit anyone along its way? Not quite sure. It doesn't look. Oh, almost passes by. Almost hits Biotron, but Biotron is pretty safe there. Now, I'm talking about the game and talking about the lanes and talking about the a, a little bit of, of SOTUS in general. Generally, SOTUS is a very, very highly competitive game. And unfortunately, because there isn't a matchmaking system, you're going to be thrown into games where people are generally not the same skill level as you. And because of that, uh, people expect very high level play once they get to know how to play. So my suggestion to you and any of you guys out there who are learning how to play SOTUS, play against the computer a couple of times and at least learn how to um, learn how to lane. One of the important things in SOTUS is that you that you keep your hero alive as long as possible and you stay next to creeps that are dying. As long as someone from your team, including the Protoss army, gets the kill, you get experience. So you really want to be next to these units here when they begin to fight as we now the battle begins. It is going to be, what, Toxie versus Grunty, a very, very unusual carry coming in from King David. Meanwhile, Grunty is using that rocket. We'll see what he's going to be able to do. Grunty making sure to try to get as many last shot kills there. Both sides battling now back and forth. Meanwhile, on the top lane. Drake and Jackson doing a good job pairing themselves together. You can see the mark for death on both Narzak and Thunderstick. So they are both taking 15% additional damage. And back over here, and now on the bottom lane, it is going to be Drake and Jackson versus Biotron and Raynor. But it doesn't look like Raynor will be able to deal that much damage at all. As you can see, ooh, a nice boomerang almost taking down um, Jackson. Jackson down to um, was down to about 250 hit points before he used that vital infusion in order to heal back up. Now, I say he was almost taken down because he did have Mark for Death, meaning that he does take an additional 15% damage, I believe. As we now see Death and Taxes waiting to get another Mark for Death shot. There's a very nice magnitude followed by an optic beam in back into the center lane. And we're going to see King David sitting at level 3, Grunty sitting at level 2. So uh, King David currently sitting at level 4 and a very, very ex high experience level already for him. Perhaps trying to and do any of the denying there. As you can now see, the creeps are pushing back onto this wave here. Now, as a po as a request, people have been asking for... Oh, wait, we have a death over here. So Narzak now being teleporting back over here. I'm going to try to stick to the lanes. Try to figure out what's going on for you guys. So that you can see a whole entire engagement and see who's coming out ahead. Narzak coming in with the magnitude and a pluck doesn't quite miss it and now you can see a little bit of damage being dealt there optic beam death and tax is trying to run away it looks like he will be able to run away just ever so barely meanwhile mandrake mandrake i'm um, currently sitting at still level two jackson sitting at level two both heroes sitting at um, level three level two so um what kerrigan definitely in an advantage in this point Perhaps getting off a lot of denials as Kerrigan may come back in with another boomerang hitting both of those heroes once more. There's a magnitude but no pluck coming in right behind it as and it looks like Jackson may get taken down. He's down to 60 hit points, down to 10 and he is able to turn back around just in time. In the center lane, we can see Grunty going battling toe to toe against Vespus Toxie. Toxie is so far in the slight advantage. He wants to get a little bit of damage done. With that toxic gust, will he be able to hit Grunty with it is a key question. It looks like both sides pushing that lane. There's that toxic gust getting some damage. Oh, and a nice stun on the Toxie. Toxie being forced to pull back. It looks like he will be able to perhaps get the last couple of shots on those heroes. There you go. And now pulling away once more. Now you can see um, Ace uh, attempt and Ace and Biotron trying to creep out the bottom lane here. And, or not creep out, or take down the neutral creeps here, doing a good job so far. Meanwhile, I think Kerrigan and 
Uh, has Kerrigan been taking out those creeps? Is that why she has such a high level, sitting at level 4? And um, she also does get that additional command aura bonus, helping on that Glaive Worm damage. As you can see, Jackson and Drake trying to figure out how much damage they can do. There is, oh, and there's the Pluck coming back in. Is the Magnetic Link going to come in? Yes, there's the Optic Beam. A lot of damage being dealt, but Kerrigan able to pull away just in time. Meanwhile, the center lane, not much going on here. And now the heroes are coming back in to engage Optic Beam. Jackson sitting at level 4. Drake sitting at level 3, getting to level 4 now. We'll see, yes, he does get Martyr as his, as his level 4 skill. As this game still rages on, no one with a clear advantage just quite yet. Oh, is it going to be enough? And it looks like it's going to be an exchange for kills. Two for one. Death and Taxes getting off the final shot there. Kerrigan, uh, yeah, Kerrigan getting destroyed along with Drake and Jackson. But this means that Raynor will be able to get a lot of experience now. Clearing off this entire creep wave by himself. Perhaps even getting a lot of um, energy as he doesn't have to use that mark for death for quite some time. And then we'll be able to get a little bit more of that silencing shot. Um, um, skill shots a little bit later. You can now see Jackson is marked for death. Oh, uh, in comes a Biotron doing another push right there. Uh, what We have a couple Stalkers down here on the low ground. There down goes a Martyr as well. As Ace down over here just pretty much trying to clear out as many creeps as possible. Trying to clear out these creeps. All of these fire bat creeps which do give a decent amount of experience in between each of those creep waves. You can now see, back over here we can see Drake is back in action. Narzak against Raynor, both sides engaging. Also, Toxie down over here as well. He is sitting at level 7. Grunty currently sitting at level 6. Un uh, afraid to go in the water, so that is a little bit of an issue. Grunty loves the water. Um, he regenerates hit points much more quickly because of that River Racer ability. Are we going to see perhaps... Oh, there's a Magnitude. Are we going to get a Pluck? No, no Pluck in time. And there is that kill shot there that we saw dealing a lot of damage. Um, so yeah, Drake dangerously low on hit points already. Are we going to have a... Oh, this is going to be a problem. It, I think Narzak was a little bit overconfident there and then exposed himself just a bit too much. Surprises. Now, you're going to see a very, very low hit point creep wave at Destin Tax is now going to start taking an early advantage, getting up to level 7. He may get the level 4 mark for death, meaning additional 30% damage on heroes. That coupled with the kill shot and the silencing shot will deal a lot of damage to each other. You can now see uh, Thunderstick does get to level 6. He will be able to start training up. I don't know why he's not spending his skill points. Meanwhile, down over here, uh, Muck Yu along with um, what Drake and Jackson of the Zerg side just pushing back this creep wave, taking a look at the creep, uh, the spine crawler hit points and the, and the pylon hit points and the photon cannon hit points. It looks like Zerg has a slight advantage in the top lane, but in the bottom lane, uh, it, it is the other way around as, oh, we are going to get a pluck back around and, oh, there's a link and I believe, yes, death and taxes does get taken down. Nicely done, but now Mandrake is in trouble. Oh, a nice smoke screen uh, preventing anything from being revealed there and he is going to use um, the, um, what, the epilogue. The epilogue does come back in and now we can see him engage down over here, getting in a damage and now a pluck as well. It looks as though Kerrigan trying to engage against... Mandrake, Mandrake now pulling back once more. Is he going to be able to perhaps... Oh, pushing it a little bit too close. A magnitude not coming in in time in order to pull Kerrigan back. Kerrigan is hiding in the shadows there. Getting off another one. There's the other pluck. Getting some martyr damage. And now, oh, Kerrigan able to pull away just ever so barely down to 200 hit points. Back on the south side, Biotron and Raynor sitting down over here. It looks like though um, we are going to get a silencing shot and a kill shot. And now Mini X is in a bit of trouble. Is he going to be able to? Yes, he gets off a of magnitude, able to get some hit points, and now uses a pluck to perhaps just use that resonator ability. Down goes Karen in over here, and the score is now five to six. So yes, a score of 5-6 to six between these two teams right now. We can see that Grunty is going to come back into that center lane. This is where Grunty can start to shine just a little bit more. Using that shotgun, getting, his, getting a lot of damage, pushing back that creep wave as much as possible. Meanwhile, Biotron is clearing out all of these um, creeps down over here, or those neutrals down over there. As you can see, Jackson still sitting on, on level 2, or still has 2 skill points. Not quite sure why. And oh, there's another kill shot there. Down to 255 hit points. He does need to back off. Um, we'll see what's going to be happening as... Oh, a, a blind, blind shot there. And it did hit Jackson. Jackson is in trouble. He does get taken down. So the Grunty coming in from the middle lane. Getting very, very lucky. 
And now that Grunty is going back into the center, but wow, that MIA not called out, perhaps not called out by King David. Causing a little bit of a problem there as now we see Grunty trying to push back the center. Zur getting off a very nice team engagement there as Grunty perhaps going to try to do a rocket shot on the Vespus. No, not going to be able to. But Kerrigan is there, so Kerrigan could get a boomerang off. And no, not going to be able to get the boomerang off at all. Now, back in the base, you can see Raynor and Jackson moving back off to the north. Um, Raynor is down or up over here. It looks like Death and Taxes has gotten a lot of kills so far. Score still 7-5 to five, as we may have a team engagement over here. There is no uh, n no detection, so Biotron is currently hidden. So there's the engagement. There's the boomerang. And Jackson, oh, going to get an optic beam. He does get taken down, and down it goes. Chan not coming out of the ground to try to support his friend at all. Now, back over here, he's just going to creep back over here, just try to do as much as he can. Meanwhile, Jackson, or sorry, Raynor and Jackson versus Raynor right now off to the north. And just trying to make sure he takes a minimal amount of damage as possible. Raynor is in a bit of trouble as Raynor is fighting a 2v1 battle up, up over here. And this um, spine crawl is going to start to take some damage. But Grunty is back over here. And it looks like the kill shot. Oh, line of sight blocked and able to pull away once again. Biotron is nearby. There it comes. Um, uh, uh, Aberrated Claymore clearing up some damage once again. It looks like he may be able to clear up some more damage even further and clears them down rather quickly. We can see three heroes along this side. Perhaps going to try to get us try to clear this out. There is Raynor was hiding in the brush off to the north. Raynor sitting at level nine. Other Raynor sitting at level nine. As I really wish I could bring up that. Um, bring up this very, very nice display overlay. In comes a nice shot over there, and it looks like, oh, Jackson will get taken down, as but both sides do a bit of engagement, and there's another shot, but there was not um, a mark for death, so with no mark for death, the damage was not high enough, and in comes Narzak. Narzak trying to come back in. Narzak a little bit behind right now, only sitting at level 7, compared to a level 10 Raynor. We can certainly see the score sitting at 610 right now. So very, very nicely done so far as King David trying to own the center. It looks like, yes, the tower was denied by the Zerg. So one tower already down level 12 on Vespus um, versus level 10 on Grunty. So Toxie doing a great job trying to clear out these creep waves. Meanwhile, Biotron sitting at level 10 as well, trying to clear out more and more of these creep waves. We're gonna, we should get an aberrated Claymore in just a moment. He doesn't. He wants to wait until that is done and now be able to um, creep back up in a in a large large fight perhaps we'll see what's going to be happening here as we can see also a lot of kerrigan coming back in and oh an optic beam and a link that is a bit of an issue but now we can see uh, all the way jackson trying to run away he is getting stunned a little bit but no able to escape with no real problems 6 to 11 grunty coming in for the for the jack or um, or for the counter as you can now see an optic link there kerrigan and now trying to run away but grunty is not engaging for some reason oh hit hit jackson ever so barely but not enough to take him down even with that mark for death ability king david now pushing himself a little bit too far in in comes a a slow there uh, some shotgun damage in as well as king david deciding to um, back off here jackson where, where is Jackson? Jackson is down over here. Meanwhile, the Jackson over here on the north side still sitting. Level 8, level 8, both sides. Rather low on heroes. You can see 11, 10, 11, um, 11, 8, and 8 on the Jackson for the Zerg side. Meanwhile, on the Protoss side, we have 9, 9, 12, 8, 10. So the Biotron and the Toxie doing the, um, a good amount of damage there. We're going to see how much damage can be done. Trying to take down this one Spinecrawler. Spinecrawler, however, we're going to clean up all of those Marines. Stay tuned for part two of this replay between Zerg versus Protoss, this in-house beta um, featuring uh, Raynor. And um, coming up, it should be the next part of... Actually, I can cast a couple more minutes. And um, anyways, Toxie once again just pushing back in the center. We can see Drake over here still. Toxie down here. A very, very large battle going on. And it looks like, oh, we are going to get teleport in. Grunty may be able to get some shotgun damage in. And Chan is in a bit of trouble um, trying to aberrate Claymore away. It looks like he is getting very, very far away. But in comes a stun. And wow, Grunty doing a great job, especially with that Accelerator Wrapper. Able to get in a lot of damage. But in comes Drake. Drake now does the counter pluck. We are going to perhaps gonna get... Uh, no, Jackson does... Oh, gets Hyperion... Or, a twin twin paradox. He does get pulled back once again. Both sides use the um, use their epilogue ability and get back into this game already. Both sides also throwing in a lot of um, spells and abilities to each other there. And and now there's the pluck pulling Kerrigan back. K 
Kerrigan could have been counterplucked by um, by Drake as well, but no, the engagement is going to be pulling back here a little bit longer. And the 15 minute mark is a good time to pause this game. So yes, yeah, stay tuned for part two of this. Um, Sotus in house between Protoss, Zerg. Not going to read you guys all the names, but hope you guys enjoy are enjoying it so far.